All right, according to a recent financial wellness census from Prudential Financial, one-third of Americans do not have an accurate handle on their state of their own finances. That's right. Amanda Clayman is a certified financial therapist, and she has some advice for some healthy money habits. Listen up, folks. My work as a financial therapist is looking at both the what and the how of money. So the what are those things that we know we should do, like budgeting and saving for the future. But the how is sort of where a lot of us get tripped up. The how is how we organize ourselves around our goals, our level of confidence and optimism about the future, and how we set up good habits that are going to see us through. The financial wellness census from Prudential is actually one of the, the first and most comprehensive looks at both the objective and subjective state of financial health in America. Um, and what they discovered is that the country is pretty evenly split right now with about 46% of us who are objectively financially well and 54% of us who are struggling. Financial wellness and financial health are a way of looking at money in a more holistic context. So it's not just what we owe and what we earn, what we what we save, what we spend. Um, we're also thinking about how money impacts our relationships, um, how we, we think about what's important to us today and how we organize ourselves around what's important for the future. Um, it's just a way of really looking at the impact that money has in our life overall. So the key is really consistency. It's not like we can just sort of brute force our way through getting our budget in order and then just be done with money. Uh, unfortunately or not, we're in relationship with money for the rest of our lives. So we want to really take it slowly and consistently. Um, I recommend setting up money dates and having them regularly on a weekly or maybe monthly basis where you sit down, you look at your money, um, you become really familiar and aware of it, and you start to create a roadmap between where you are and what's important to you today and where where you want to go and what's important to you tomorrow. And we'd like to thank Prudential Financial Inc. for all that information.